everyone welcome to topic of the day in this edition we will discuss about the ethanol blended petrol program now in the latest economic survey we saw our finance minister promoting the use of blended fuel in fact the ethanol supply in the country to enable blending with petrol is likely to reach 302 crores liter by the end of ethanol supply year 2020 2021 So let's discuss a bit more about this ethanol blended petrol program. So the government has been promoting the use of ethanol as a blend stock with the main automotive fuel for example petrol in line with the national policy on biofuels 2018 under the ethanol blended petrol program. The ethanol blended petrol program was launched back in 2003 with an objective to promote alternative and environmental friendly fuels. In this India is targeting for 20% ethanol blending in petrol that is E20 by 2025 but firstly it was targeted by 2030 the ethanol blending target for the ethanol supply year 2122 is at 10% so what is ethanol now ethanol is an organic chemical compound also known as ethyl alcohol or grain alcohol which is produced from biomass mainly from sugarcane or molasses in india Now when we talk about biomass as the name suggests bio that means it is an organic material which is derived from plant or animal and can be directly used as fuel or can be converted into biofuel Now since ethanol is produced from plants such as sugarcane or corns that harness the power of sun ethanol is also considered as a renewable fuel So the high oxygen content allows engines to combust fuel more effectively Now let's discuss some of the benefits and significance. First of all, it helps in improving the energy security and self-sufficiency measures. Secondly, it reduces the country's crude oil import bill. Also, it helps in decreasing the emissions and creates rural and urban employment opportunities. It is also strategically important as it goes well with the government initiatives like the Make in India program, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, skill development, etc. It also offers a great opportunity to integrate with the targets of doubling farmers income import reduction and waste to wealth creation. Let's discuss some of the challenges. The major challenge is about manufacturing efficient vehicles and creating the infrastructure also getting the time consuming regulatory clearances. Secondly there are also unregulated emissions and no reduction in the nitrogen oxides. It is also expensive due to higher evaporative emissions from fuel tanks and dispensing equipments. Lastly, the unavailability of sufficient feedstock and restrictions on the interstate movement of ethanol. If we talk about some of the related Indian initiatives by the government, first one is the Pradhan Mantri Jaiv Indhan Vatavaran Anukul Fasal Avshesh Nivaran Yojana, that is the G1 Yojana. Now this yojana provides financial support to the integrated bioethanol projects it is under the ministry of petroleum and natural gas then we have the gobardhan scheme or the galvanizing organic bio agro resources scheme this was launched by ministry of jal shakti to manage cattle and biodegradable waste it is also a part of the swachh bharat mission also we have the national policy on biofuels 2018 and the ethanol blended petrol program the repurpose used cooking oil that is the ruko scheme For the better implementation of these schemes first of all we have to address the non availability of domestic feedstock secondly we have to improve our infrastructure like storage handling blending and dispensing of the biofuel thirdly forming a single window clearance system for speedy approvals the last and most important being to monitor and work on the emissions reduction now let us take up a practice question on this topic consider the following statements First, India has set the target for 20% ethanol blending in petrol that is E20 by the end of 2030. Second, low oxygen content in ethanol allows engines to combust fuel more effectively as compared to gasoline. So which of the given above statement is correct? You can write your answers in the comment section below. So the correct answer is option D. This is all for today's topic of the day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. 
To study these topics in depth, you can follow the current affairs section on our website. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel. Yeah.